Pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next NHL team check-in as we check in on the San Jose Sharks, a mini surprise team uh, this year. As right now, they're in the wild card spot as one of the teams, as people thought the California teams, many analysts coming in this year, would struggle where the Ducks are a huge surprise. The Kings have been solid this year, and the Sharks have been definitely a mini surprise team to right now <clears throat> um, be in the second wild card spot. Um, up one point in the standing uh, to be in that spot over Calgary, two points over Winnipeg, and uh, three points over Edmonton and the Dallas Stars. The problem with the Sharks is they need to have more consistency in their scoring output. They're ranked in the lower um, 12 of the league in that, and they're ranked in the lower 12 of the league in terms of goals allowed as well, which leads to their minus 12 uh, goal differential. If they're able to be more efficient in those departments, that would lead to much better um, overall consistent performance from the Sharks, who have been a good team this year to get to 2017 and 1 to 41 points to get to three games over 500, but also have taken advantage of the Western Conference, where if you look at the East, there's 55 points, 55, 49. The wild cards um, have 47, 44. Um, where uh, but the, there's just more points in the East, where with the West, to be leading the Central, that's 50 points only. To be leading the Pacific, that's 48 points. So uh, they're taking advantage of a weaker conference they're in, the San Jose Sharks, which is exactly what you want to do. So they're doing exactly what you want them to do. But in order for this team to go from being a mini surprise team to end up being that wild card team over Calgary, who has Jacob Markstrom and a more solidified full roster, and over the Winnipeg Jets, and even over Vancouver, who's obviously getting going. Bruce Boudreaux, they lost their last two. And over Dallas, who, if they can get going on the road and stop staying equivalent with uh, Detroit on the road and Arizona, uh, then they could potentially get going um, as well. But the way for them to make it for the San Jose Sharks is, again, got to be more consistently with your scoring output, and they also have to be more consistent defensively as a team. As well, where this team has been great in moments this year, but then have had their flaws that have been what's damned them the last couple of years, uh, get exposed again. Obviously, getting experience for your young defenseman Ryan Merkley is all but going to help him. Uh, playing him with Edward Vlasic, who's a shell of his former self, still helps from the at least veteran uh, perspective to kind of teach him and mentor him along with the ways of the league. Uh, obviously, um, Obviously, um, he's not the same defenseman he used to be, though. And then you got Eric Carlson, um, who's actually starting to skate a little bit better, like the um, you would expect Eric Carlson to skate. Megna hasn't even played bad um, in the games he's played. Uh, Nicholas Maloach has struggled this year. Uh, Redeem Simic uh, hasn't played as well as they would want him to. Uh, Jacob Middleton has looked good in his 28 games, so getting him back will be good who's day-to-day, -day. and then, of course, Mikhail Kuzinov <clears throat> um, has been injured this year as well, uh, which hasn't helped them. But the Sharks have been getting good goaltending, even from Zach Solchenko. They got a very good first game from him. Aiden Hill's been good. James Reimer's been unbelievable. He's been the mega surprise. Uh, the former Reading Royal, James Reimer, has been the mega surprise for them. He's been good and consistent his entire career, but he's been playing amazing in 20 this year, and Aiden Hill's playing good in 21 games. They've been Literally a 1A, 1B, a split tandem. Um, and then there's also been Jeffrey Veal. He's been good. Uh, Jesper Weatherby. So people, they've been having young guys come in and make an impact. The, the issue with um, San Jose is simply just being more consistent with your output. If they're able to have not these trends of like stocks where it's like down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit. They're not roller coastery like the Dallas Stars have been, where they're really bad on the road and great at home. They're actually just decent in both spots, which is spells better success than the teams like Dallas or the teams like Detroit that really struggle on the road for them in the future. They just have to find the consistency. If the San Jose Sharks can do that, they have a great chance to be a wild card team, but I would have to project um, for when it comes to the Western Conference, that's just going to kind of be a fight to the death end for who's going to get the second wild card spot. And the Wild might end up just pulling a little bit ahead um, when it comes to uh, their their first wild card spot if they don't end up moving up 
in their division since the three points below St. Louis, and then St. Louis would then therefore <clears throat> um, move into the other wild card spot of the West. So it's going to be interesting to see, but I think it's going to be a fight to the end for the final wild card spot in the West. And the biggest key for the Sharks is just consistency, because in terms of players, as we wrap up this video, Logan Couture, the captain, has been great this year. Uh, Timu Meyer has been very good. Tomas Hurdle, they would have to resign, but he's been very good. It looks like you should do that. Uh, you've been getting production from the top. Even Boucher's moving into that line has been fine. Um, in times on an offensive um effort, you would just like to see more consistency on both ends from him. Uh, Noah Gregor has been starting to show at 27 um, or 23. I mean, I'm um, getting picked in 2016. I don't know why I said 27. Um, and then you also have Jonathan Dahlin who's been starting to show offense with 16 points. They just don't necessarily have the most consistent defense from some of these youngsters in their forward court, but they will get there because they have guys like the Nick Boninos of the world who might not be having the best season, but they've been there, done that, been good two-way forward, kind of helping to mentor these guys along. The, the thing for the Sharks, if they do want to be there for the wild card, I wouldn't be surprised if they add more offense if they want to push for the playoffs this year, and that's their idea they have going in, and they don't still think they're just going to stick with it and see what happens since this team wasn't even projected to be in the playoff race this year in the hunt. Uh, it would probably be adding even maybe like a Phil Kessel that's rumored with Arizona to get traded because he's really going to help your power play, um, and he's really going to just help the overall offense, which is ranked 22nd, um, if you're able to do that, and the power play, which is ranked in the bottom tier of the league at 24th as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're a team that looks for a move like that because that's a move they can afford. It's not going to cost them all too much. And it's going to help them to compete for a wild card and also just help all these young players to get a better shoot-first mentality with guys like Gregor um, that have a very good shot but just don't necessarily use it enough. Same goes with Rudolph Falchers. Has a pretty good shot, just doesn't necessarily use it enough. If you bring in a guy like Phil Kessel, that might help those guys to just get that shooting mentality more <clears throat> in their head, just like guys like Cam Atkinson, even in a struggling season for some offensive players. With Phil, they seem to have more of a shooting mentality like Joel Fairby since Atkinson's come in because that he kind of helps spread that through the team. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a check-in on a mini surprise team this year in the San Jose Sharks. Congratulations on having good success and actually being in the hunt, which is not where many people would have projected uh, this far. Sharks fans, uh, best of luck for the rest of the season. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget if you enjoyed the channel. Enjoy the rest of the season and enjoy the hockey. I'll obviously do an end of the season check-in and maybe one before that as well. We'll have to see um, when it comes to these teams. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.